Hey, hi. Good morning, everyone. This is Priya, your English teacher from Alpha Group of Institutions. And today I am here to teach you or discuss lesson 5 in English literature book. That is the King and I which is written on this slide. Okay. And in this lesson, what we are going to discuss today? We are going to read about a king. Something which happened in the historical period. And not... It's not related like something which is related to the history, but a small story which related to the king from the historical period. And let us see what is interesting in this lesson. And let you also come along with me and open your textbook page number 22. This one. Open your textbook page number 22, lesson 5. And I will be reading each and every line and I will explain you in detail so that you will be able to understand and also you will you can be uh, you will be able to understand and also an answer the questions which are related to this concept even though the questions are not from the book bag. So I want here to strengthen your mind according to the concept. Okay children be ready with your pencil and also be cautious that wherever I give a space or whenever I am asking you to underline, you have to underline the new words, that is hard words. Okay guys, shall we start now? Yes, thank you. And the story starts from here. This story is based on the life and experiences of Anna Lenovens, the governess of the children of the king of Siam. So children, here this story is based on the life and experience of the lady and her name was Anna Lenovens. Anna Lenovens was the governess of the children of King of Siam. So there was a king of Siam and he has children and this Anna Lenovens was appointed as a governess to his children. Governance means what? Governess means a lady, a person who takes care of the children and also who teaches them like a private tutor. Okay children, that is the meaning of governess. Now let us start reading. The streamer from Singapore dropped anchor at Bangkok. A woman leaned on the ship's rails, her small son beside her. Looking at the towering walls of the magnificent palace where the king of Siam lived. The year was 1862 and the woman was Anna Lenovens. She had come to take up the post of garnet to the children of the royal family. Children here, steamer means what? A big ship. Okay. So a steamer, a ship from Singapore. Dropped an anchor. So once a ship reached a place and in order to stop the ship, they will be dropping an anchor. So a streamer from Singapore had dropped an anchor at which place? Bangkok. And in that streamer, a woman was leaning on the ship's rail. Ship's rail means uh, a like border thing, a fence, a fence like thing which is built like at the edge of the tip of the corners let us take like it has corners of the ship so this woman is just leaning on those ship rails with her son beside her she was she forgot herself she was really amazed by seeing the by looking at the towering walls of such a big beautiful palace where the king of siam lived so she was attracted by seeing the walls of that magnificent, the beautiful palace when she was in the streamer itself. So that was the year of 1862. Which year? It was 1862. And that woman's name was Anna Linovens. She had Anna Linovens come to that place. To take the post, to take the duty, to take the responsibility of a governess to the king's children. 
okay she was appointed as a governor she was appointed as a tutor mentor for the king's children that is why she came to that place in that streamer now i have 67 children said the king proudly when he met her you shall teach them what did the king said now the king is saying in a loud voice the proud voice that i have 67 children lady and when he told that he just conveyed that lady that he is having 67 children and he is just asking her that you shall teach them with a proud voice the king was a thin little man clad in a cloth of gold clad means covered okay he sat cross-legged on his throne like a golden grasshopper with his glittering eyes fixed on the slender young English woman who stood before him. He was a tyrant, lord of life and death in Siam. He was evil and cruel and expected his slightest wish to be obeyed. And now this paragraph is a description about the king's physical appearance. When the lady met the king, the king appeared like, as uh, the king is looking like a thin little man. He's, uh, usually the things will be a uh, bodybuilder, right? They look like a bodybuilder, their height and weight, the muscles and everything. But this king is looking very little and thin and he is covered with a cloth of gold. He was covered with gold cloth. And he is sitting cross legged. You know right children. Putting your leg cross and sitting. So he is sitting in a cross legged form on his throne. As, and he was looking like as if a golden grasshopper is sitting there. And also with his glittering eyes. With his powerful eyes. Which is steady. Which he had fixed those eyes. A keen sight on that young lady. Here, who is the young English woman? She is Anna Linovans who came there to, to teach the king's children. And he was looking her very keenly, sharply, sitting cross-legged, covered with a golden cloth. And he was staring the woman who, is, who was standing before her, who stood before her. And he was a real cruel person. This king, even though his looks, physical looks were like little and thin, like a clown, like a joker, but his character is very evil, he is very cruel, he is a very rude person, he is just conveying and also on the other hand, he is just, in the mode of conveyance, he is just commanding that lady that she has to obey his words, his wish. Understood? Now, Anna was introduced to him in the great audience chamber. A crowd of noblemen and servants crouched on the floor, their heads bowed so that they were not looking at the face of the king. Anna cut side and tried to balance herself in a crouching position to indicate respect. And this Anna, Anna Linovans, this king, introduced Anna to the whole audience who were present in that chamber. He introduced her to the all the audience in the chamber. In that, who are all the audience means? A very big group of noblemen were sitting there. And on the other hand, so many servants are sitting on the floor. They were grouped, they were placed on the floor. And those servants, they are just, bowed, they are just bending their head. They bowed their heads. And they don't have even rights to raise their heads because it is their duty. They have to bow their heads and they must not see the face of the king. They must not look at the king's face directly. So that is why all these servants were allowed to sit on the floor and bow their heads down. And Anna also, she was appointed to teach king's children and she is also one of the workers there. So she also tried to balance herself, balance her physical appearance as in a crouched position in order like a shrink. She want to 
show in order to express the respect towards the king she was also trying to crouch herself to stand and face the king i mean to, to stand in front of the king and also to convey the respect towards the king of siam okay guys now students you can see the picture here this is that little thin king and this white english woman young english woman is anna lenoven and these fellows were the servants who were crouching on the floor bending their heads okay this is the picture which is which is representing them and now coming to the paragraph now the king is asking here how old are you how old are you demanded the king loudly anna was a young woman of spirit she had no intention of proclaiming her rage before so many people a woman's age was her own business i am 150 year old sir she said in what year were you born snap the king in 1712 your majesty she said she said boldly now here when she represented herself in front of the king children now the king is raising his voice and asking anna loudly that how old are you <clears throat> even though this lady was very young she was really matured mentally and a woman's age must not be revealed anywhere in front of others and here she is very sure that she don't want to reveal her age in front of that such a big huge crowd so in order to hide her age in order to not reveal her age she just answered to the king as i am 150 years old sir now this king is asking again oh you are 150 years old then what year you were born then now again anna is replying that in 1712 your majesty she said that she was born in 1712 now instead of being angry the king was delighted at her reply in all her dealings with him anna found it paid to be bold and resolute she had many battles with him some she lost some she won she tried to get him spare the life of a 16 year old princess whom he had condemned to death he promised to do so then changed his mind and had the girl tortured and executed outside anna's window just to show her that he was all powerful and could do as he liked now when anna is replying that she was 150 years old and when she was telling that she was born in 1712 naturally a king must be angry you know when she was telling lies but here the king did not get angry instead of being angry the king felt happy why because the way that girl the way how anna replied him with bold and courageous the bold and courageous answers of An anna really uh, like uh, it uh, grabbed the king's attention king appreciated her answers but not openly inside so he felt uh, like delighted and here anna she had um, like she had faced many battles with king now like orally battles means not fight children when he was throwing questions rapidly she was also answering in a very bold she her answers were very bold and also she is not giving up for herself and in some of the questions she had lost some and also in some questions she had won she tried to get also she she tried something to get the life of a 16 year old princess whom he condemned to death she wants to save a old i mean a small girl a 16 year old princess but he promised her that he will do that according to her wish 
but immediately he changed his mind and also he tortured that girl that 16 year old princess he tortured that girl and also he executed outside anna's window just to show her his powerful he he also tortured and he just killed that lady he just tortured and he made her nun in front of the anna's window only why because this king wants to prove his power he wants to show his power and he also he wants to show all the people including anna that how much he is rude cruel and nobody is there to question him and also he want to show that he can do what he is thinking and he can do whatever he likes that is the only reason why he tortured that girl and did like that in front of her window itself understood children on another occasion however he listened to anna's pleading walking in the town one day anna chanced to take the wrong turning she found herself in a paved courtyard where a woman was sitting chained on the ground she was nursing a ch- small child she was filthy ill and helpless talking to her anna learned her story so one day after joining one day when anna was going and when an when she was going for a walk when she went into the town along with the king's permission suddenly she took a wrong turning because that way that route she is not allowed to go but she went she went and she also found herself in a courtyard where a abandoned place where a woman was sitting she was locked with chains that lady was chained on the ground she anna found herself while she was going there she found herself present in that courtyard and she saw that lady who was imprisoned with chains and that lady was nursing taking care of a small child nursing means that lady was taking care of a small child so anna had a look of what how the woman was chained and what the woman was doing there that woman who was chained in the who chained in the who were locked there she was really very ill very tired and she was helpless none of them were to help her so anna went there directly and she talked to her she sat there she talked with her she shared her feelings she also collected some information from that lady and also anna learned that lady story learned that lady story means she came to know what happened and she also understood why that lady was chained there okay children and the children let us end this today's session with this slide because uh, only some a little more is there if we ta- talk about all those things we will not find time to complete everything so let us make this chapter into two sessions so that we can talk and discuss in detail so that in the next session we can summarize from the beginning again so let me stop the half of the lesson with this slide and continue remaining lesson in the next session meanwhile let me talk about the activity what you are going to do this so if you turn the pages at the end of the lesson you can find this exercise so book back exercise this activity is not from the uh, like one questions or from the internet children this activity is from the textbook only so at the end of the lesson if you turn the pages you can find this so you have to do this activity let me explain the activity first later you can do it write the synonyms of the following words choose the words from the box so the answers were given in this box you can find this in the textbook also children just turn it and have a look find uh, write the synonyms of the following words choose the words from the box for example first one is restore restore this synonym i had found in the dictionary for this now you can use google 
or you can use the dictionary if you are having if you don't have dictionary at home you can take google and if you type a synonym for restore you can find many synonyms for them and then just check for the right answer in this book in this box so replace is the right answer right synonym for the restore so replace for two proclaim and if you search again a synonym for proclaim there will be uh, in google you get many answers so you have to find the right answer which suits proclaim and that answer should be in this box itself find the right answer here announce is there proclaim means announce third one chained chain means fettered fettered i have written here fourth one magnificent magnificent means beautiful splendid outstanding all which will come magnificent means everything so many answers are there here only splendid is given which is related to this magnificent so i have written this answer so the remaining questions in the textbook there are more than four the first one two three four i have done for you children and remaining five six seven eight everything you have to find the answers from the google and you have to relate that answer with the answers given in the box later you write in the textbook okay that is your first exercise and the second exercise for today's activity is write the antonyms of the following words choose the words from the box here also the same thing children you can google you can browse from the internet okay later like you have to type antonym for come antonym for what come antonym for sorry antonym for slender first one is slender the antonym for slender means so many answers will be coming and also you have to select for which answer suits first slender here fat suits for slender second one is bold the answer for bold is shy cruel kind overjoyed sorrowful so the antonyms means opposite words children okay synonyms means meanings you know no i think being a seventh standard child you know the difference between the synonym and antonym the only thing is you have to google through internet and find the answers for synonyms as well as antonyms and you have to relate that answers with the answers which is given in the box and then you have to fill this and for b roman also i have written 1 2 3 4 and the remaining questions you have to answer on your own okay children so this is your today's activity do it properly hope you all will be doing perfectly along with my instructions so obey your teachers and do the work which is given to you after writing take a snap and post it in the group for checking the answers we will be sending you the key in the second session for all the classwork content and the textbook remaining book back exercise so many are there right we will teach you remaining exercises in the next session so that we will send you the last all the answers in the key format you finish all the activities and the remaining questions what all i am teaching you and then you check you check the answers from that key and you correct it okay if you have done any mistake okay children so this is your today's activity homework or home assessment whatever you can take you have to finish it in the textbook only and not in the notebook and whoever had not collected your books please come and collect the books from the school okay guys so this is the end of the session and thank you for being with me and also listening whatever i am teaching you with patience and also this you are showing your responsibility by sitting along with me and in our discussions in our english discussion e learning sessions okay obey your parents obey your teachers stay safe study well be healthy these all the things which your teachers and what are all that your teachers and parents were requesting you and also one side on the other hand commanding you okay children thank you so much and this is priya signing off from alpha group of institutions thank you guys bye